it's your boy Eric Jones with Eclipse Entertainment Presents. Today we're going to be talking about the Condor Tornado Hoster. Stay tuned. Alright, first of all, I'm going to start off by saying this hoster right here is 1000D nylon. It's very well made. When you purchase this and you fill it in your hands, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. It's definitely worth more than the $25, $30 that they have on Amazon, but Condor likes to take care of the little guys like you and I. Uh, so this is the place to go for us, especially these days where everything's getting kind of pricey You can't go wrong with this holster top of that. Uh, you can find this in black You can find it in a uh, olive drape or you can find it in coyote whichever color is your choose for the picking Now the reason I chose this video on this holster particularly because a lot of people have this argument They like the kydex leg drop holster because they look cool and they look tactical And then you have these uh, nylon style uh, holsters like this that you can put on your leg drop Now the purpose of this is let's just say for instance the world's going to crap, right? and you have a gun and that gun probably run out, runs out of ammo or you may lose your gun or the gun may break. You know, you never know what the situation may hold. But with that Kydex holster, you can only use that specific gun for that holster. Now with this holster right here, if my gun runs out of ammo or if it breaks or anything like that along those lines, I can simply get another gun that I own, shape and mold it to the host with this holster and put it right back on my leg drop. And it's quick and easy to do. So that's why I'm choosing this holster over the Kydex because what's going on in the world is kind of scarce and with this one, I can do multiple things with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this on the table for you guys and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's get it on. All right, as you can see right here, this is your Condor Tornado holster. I'm about to show you how this baby operates. I'm gonna go ahead and get the straps out of the way for you. And as you can see, you have your straps right here. They have this rubber lining all the way through both straps. So uh, when you're running about, you're not gonna see this holster sliding up and down your leg and moving. It's gonna hold it in place. And right here, you have your buckles. You just push it in like so and you just pull it out like you would on any other buckle. Now, as you can see at the other side of this buckle, you have this elastic band right here. Now what this band is gonna do is help you with that mobility. It's not gonna be stuck on your leg and mix, constricting your leg and stopping blood flow. You're gonna get that perfect amount of movement with that strap right there, it's on both sides. Now right here you have your uh, holster for your magazine. Like I said, this thing can hold different magazines. This right here is a mag for the SD. You can hold it in place like that. Or if you just wanna tuck this strap in and put the magazine over it like so, you can do that like that for a faster reload if you need to. Now, uh, right here, you have that speed uh, <clears throat> uh, release right here. So like if you want to switch firearms, you can just pull this off your, uh, your belt and you can put this on the table and put whatever firearm you want in there. I'm going to show you close up with that here in a sec. Now right here is where your holster or your pistol goes. So you just move that. It's like a, a cover with Velcro and then you have a button underneath to get to it for the extra protection. And you can just slide your gun in like so and you can be Velcro it up and button it up if you like. Now, I'm going to open this up here for you guys so you can see how you can shape and mold this uh, holster to a multitude of different firearms. First of all, uh, you're just going to turn it around like so. Now, right, right here, this strap right here, you can adjust the length you want this from your, uh, your thigh uh, to your, uh, your hip. You can make it further away or closer if you like, depending on how long your arms are for that belt or draw for you, which is more comfortable. But I'm just going to move that out the way, and I'm just going to peel this back right here. I'm just going to peel this and turn it all the way around. And then you're gonna pull this side right here off, open her up, and then you're gonna be able to see inside the holster. Now, as you can see, how this holster looks on the inside, I have it fitted for uh, a bigger gun. So, it, as you can see, I can get the beaver tail and get that nice grip on that beaver tail when I'm drawing the firearm. But so you just have it like so. But if I wanna get a smaller firearm, like you see right here, this, uh, this XD subcompact, all I have to do is open it up, bring this strap closer up like so and then I can set her in and it's gonna sit in just as comfortable. See how that beaver tail still sticks out where I can get that per uh, the good purchase on the, uh, the firearm when I'm drawing it. Like, so all I have to do is close it up, the course sucks in place, and then bam, there you have it. All right, so now I'm just gonna show you a few examples on how you can reload this firearm uh, from the weak side, reaching across your body. I'm gonna show you how you can reload uh, with gear on and stuff along those lines and things you can watch out for uh, just in case you don't find this holster to be that holster for you. I'm just gonna show you examples of how you can make this thing work for you, not against you. So let's go ahead and get those examples out of the way for you. Let's get it on. Now, as you can see, I have a play carry on with my battle belt. Now, some people don't wear battle belts with play carriers, but I'm just gonna show you an example uh, how you can get uh, this problem out of the way. Now, you can't reach across and reach for that magazine for a reload, right? So I'm gonna show you, uh, if your pistol runs out of ammo, uh, doing a firefight or whatever the situation may be, what you wanna do is release that magazine and at the same time, you're dropping your magazine into this drop mag pouch back here. You wanna be reaching for this uh, magazine right here for a reload. So that way when you bring your hand out, you can meet them together, put it in for a faster reload and get back on uh, in, in a fight or whatnot there. Now I'm gonna show you an example of me and my oldest son doing speed reloads without the tactical plate carry on. Check it out. Go. Another 
situation you may run into is, uh, let's just say you just finished the firefight and you pull from your hip already. From your hip is where you get your fastest reload, so obviously you're gonna pull there first. Now, if you're done with that engagement, all you have to simply do is remove the magazine from your leg drop holster and put it right here uh, back into your hip holster. That way you can have another speed reload for your next go round. Now, as you can see, I'm in a crouching position. Uh, I have my play carry on and my battle belt, and yet it is still easy for me to get to that pistol and draw it in a timely manner so I can get back down range or on target if I need to and continue engaging. If I need to swing my AR to the left and I need to do a speed reload, but I can't get to my reload on time with the AR, uh, obviously I can still get to my pistol, which is why I prefer to have my leg drop holsters when I'm wearing my play carry opposed to having the, his, uh, the, the holster on my hip. It's so much easier to get to. But I'm going to go ahead and get on uh, with more examples for you. And like I said before, if your pistol ever malfunctions or if you just simply run out of ammo and you need to hurry up and get another pistol on you with uh, different ammo, you can, like I said before, just hit the quick release buttons right here and you can release it. Put a new firearm in its holster shape and mold it and put it back on you just like that on the go. That's why I highly recommend this Condor Tornado holster. Uh, if you are looking to get one of these, you can find it on Amazon for about 25 to 30 bucks. i just like to thank you guys for your time. Thanks for watching Eclipse Entertainment Presents, where we bring you entertainment, news, reviews with the kick. Till next time, God bless.